What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. So I'm here in Work Fort World Headquarters and I know in uh, I think it was like two videos ago I asked you guys how you guys would feel about possibly me and Dave putting together like a podcast and it would allow us to really go more in depth on a lot of the things that we talk about. Uh, it would allow us to kind of cue you guys into a lot of like the inside jokes that we have. Give you guys a little better background on us and I don't know I just think it would be something cool. You know I've been playing with cameras and making videos pretty much as far back as I can remember. I've never done like the broadcast radio station type thing, although it's something I've been super interested in. I've actually gone to one of the local radio stations and me and Chris actually, shoot, probably, I'd say 10 years ago at this point or longer, uh, actually went and sat in on one of their morning show broadcasts. And so I'm sitting here kind of in work for our old headquarters. Like I can envision, you know, on the center table here, like a sweet microphone coming off this way, a sweet microphone coming off that way. One to me, one to Dave. I'll have my sweet little mixer set up right here. You know, I've been doing a lot of research. Uh, it's something I know nothing about. And if any of you guys out there are like audio engineers or you could put together like a sweet podcast intro for us with like music and an introduction and all that stuff, I would love to talk to you guys because, uh, you know, I want to do this professionally. That's how I try to approach everything that we do. I mean, clearly, Work Fort World Headquarters, everything is pretty professionally done. I would like to say, by the way, I know I said all the hats were back in stock and the patch hats were missing. They are back in stock now, so don't worry. And no, this isn't all the hats. We've got more uh, in storage in the other room over there, but this is just kind of in our packaging station here. But we've got every hat back in stock. So feel free to head over to WorkPortApparel.com if you guys want to check those out. But yeah, um, I can envision really turning this into some type of cool podcast. And I noticed in a lot of the comments, everybody said, yeah, podcast, I'd love to watch that, which like to me kind of like, no, it's a podcast, you don't really watch it. But then I realized a lot of these uh, podcasts are actually streaming video as well and they're putting it on their YouTube channel and all that. Well, the thing I like about a podcast is it allows us to be a little more explicit and we don't have to, we don't have to tiptoe around like user guidelines like you have to with YouTube. So I can envision us filming some of them, but I think by us making them strictly audio podcasts, it would really kind of allow us to, to be ourselves and not have to worry about censoring anything. Now I have planned a topic for today's video and I was gonna go film it uh, a little bit earlier, but of course we end up being a little bit late. And well, we have to do a gym session with our buddy Dave, but uh, now that I'm thinking about it, like I wonder if we turn the music room into like some type of podcast studio. I mean, I'm starting to run out of rooms in the house here and it's getting a little bit frustrating. I think I either need a bigger house, we need to get that warehouse, um, I don't know, you know, we've been trying for a warehouse, it's hard, there's a lot of competition out there and they're getting swooped up really quick and they're really expensive, so trying to find the right one that is right priced has not been easy. But anyways, let's go head over to the gym, meet up with our good buddy Dave, well, actually I gotta go run and get some lifting straps first, then we're gonna meet up with our good buddy Dave, and uh, after that we'll get on to today's topic of the video, so, you know, why you guys wouldn't want to see Dave, I don't know, but if that's not your cup of tea, feel free, jump ahead. <laughs> Now the BBB build is still uh, a little residually dirty. I know we washed her yesterday after the snow, but unfortunately we had to drive in the rain again, so it kind of all is still caked on the truck there a little bit. The weather techs actually did their job. I mean, you can see there's still a, a giant puddle in there. I need to pull these things out and hose them off, but I mean, I'm guaranteed the carpet underneath is dry. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Got padded, non-padded. We're gonna go with the padded, even though I'm not a big fan of them, because they kind of pinch you until they're really broken in, but it is what it is. Dave is gonna be happy. He's actually just started using straps. So, it's kind of like a big thing out there saying you shouldn't use straps, you should work on your grip strength. But to me, you're really setting yourself back by not using straps because you can usually lift more weight uh, than your grip strength is going to allow. And Dave bought straps on day one that he started going to the gym. Never used them because he heard that. And I can attest to this. My grip strength is much stronger than Dave's. In fact, I have to go back and like retighten every drill that he's put a bit in because it's always so freaking loose that it just ends up spinning. So I'm a big believer in using the straps for a few exercises. Now the reason I include you guys kind of in my my daily gym sessions is not so much because I think I'm like some personal trainer because obviously I am far from it, but more so to 
you know, it, it helps to have a buddy out there to hold you accountable. And it's really easy to come up with excuses to not go to the gym. Trust me, I do it every morning. But, uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a buddy, uh, have a few buddies actually, that have over the years held me accountable to go into the gym. I mean, there was one stretch in there where it was about a year and a half or two years where it was just strictly me and somehow I found the motivation, but then it started to taper off. And then, you know, having a good buddy like Dave come in and, you know, we hold each other accountable. It really makes the whole gym thing a better experience and it just ensures that you're gonna go more often. So for those of you that don't have a gym partner and nobody to hold you accountable, allow me to be the person to hold you guys accountable. And you know, you see me doing it uh, six days a week, regardless of what's going on, I make time for it. And hopefully that, that can help motivate you guys to, you know, really make that final push to go to the gym today or tomorrow or whatever day it may be. Who is the man? In the creepy white van, that's Dave. Rono! Dave! Rono! What's Rono, up, buddy? Dave, Dave, no! Dude, yeah, I wrote you a jingle, buddy. <laughs> I'm, dude, I heard that. <laughs> that's, that's the best jingle I've heard right? all day, dog. I yeah. mean, my, you know, like, I've heard something similar before, you know, I don't know where, but man, I just said. Man and van, you got those to work right? together, dog? I hey, listen. Right. Like, I'm really starting to take this podcast thing seriously between the two of us. Right? And, like, I could see it work. We're yeah. going to need an intro. You know, like, is there a jingle for Dave, you know? Dude, I heard him say Dino. <laughs> dino. Well, everybody's saying we ought to call it the Work For It Podcast. All right. And, I, and like, I, you know, I'm on board with the Work For It Podcast. Well, I, I think it's that, uh, well, I'm not allowed to be positive about that because, dog, I ain't wearing a tank top. You know why? Because the one tank top uh. I have is dirty. Oh, uh, <laughs> see. I don't want to work out with you today. I'll be honest with you. I know. I mean, I appreciate I you motivating me to come. Right. So now I'm here, but do you mind if we go separately? I don't mind. But seriously, we're going we're gonna to need a sweet jingle. I'm thinking right. like, we need like a big bearded man who can talk like this and rhyme about my friend Dave. And then we need like five girls in the back to be like, Dave. And five? Like, I was thinking like, I, see, 17. 17 girls? You want 17? Yeah. So the last time we were here... We got real close to, uh, yeah, to are you nervous, buddy? A little bit, well, I mean, nervous is a strong word, but I'm <laughs> curious if my VIP status is in question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, last time was the closest you got to getting caught, so we'll see. What happened, Dave? What happened? Can we get an interview? Post interview? What happened? Well, it was, uh, I think under different circumstances, I would have been called back, <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, What'd she say to you? Because he said something to her. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm still trying to walk away and then, and then talk about it. But uh, basically, basically, Doug, I think my VIP status is in question still. <laughs> yeah. However. <laughs> well, the good thing is you're in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, another... <laughs> We've lived another day. All right. So there's really only a few exercises that we use straps for. This is one, and the other one is any type of like shoulder shrug, just because, you know, you can hold on to this without straps, but there's just so much more weight you could do with it that really takes the nice having to hold it aspect out of it. And just let you focus on lifting heavy weight. Cut him, a, cut him a little bit of slack, because this is the first exercise we've done, so, you know, like. <laughs> the warm up. Got a, a little bit of a bum elbow on the left one. On the left? Yeah. So, like I could have used the excuse that I got hurt elbows and not come today. Well, you know, but you work through it, you know? You don't want to get hurt. Well, I mean, you know, like you gotta listen to it, but you gotta work around it. All right, well, Dave uh, ran and jumped in the van real quick after we walked out of the gym here because it's, uh, it's not that warm outside. As you can see, the sun is setting. We're gonna jump back to the house real quick because I want to talk to you guys about uh, my lift pump and my lift pump placement. And I get a lot of questions about it, um, but obviously I don't feel like doing it in the gym parking lot. So let's head back to the house. So I know I've talked about this in a previous video, but it was kind of like buried in the middle of the video and it obviously didn't get its own title. So a lot of people may have missed it. But one thing I want to talk about is placement of your lift pump. You know, as you guys know, if you're going to be doing any type of performance modification to your truck, even as small as tuning it, you definitely want a lift pump. Um, I know Fords 
and Rams come with lift pumps. Chevy up till 2017s, uh, they didn't come from the factory with a lift pump, so obviously you need an aftermarket lift pump. I mean, even if you're not running a tune and you have a stock truck, it's good to run a lift pump because you have a fuel water separator and a fuel air separator. So basically you're getting about as clean of fuel as you can up to the engine, which obviously is gonna aid in longevity. So I'm running a fast 165 on my truck and typically, People will mount it right there on the driver's side bedside and you'll see the two filters hanging down as in that picture right there. But to me, I can't stand the look. I don't know why you wanna see something that doesn't fit in. You've got two ugly filters. Depending on where you mount it, you can actually slide them up pretty high, but they're always gonna hang down. Some people let them hang down real far. If you do a cat filter replacement where you run the giant cat filters, then they stick down even further. They're at risk of clipping onto something. They're at risk of being seen. And to me, if they're visible like that, you know, a lift pump's not cheap. So you're basically advertising for somebody to come steal your lift pump. I mean, I don't know who's that hard up and knows what that lift pump's worth that's not gonna steal something else on your truck, but it's a possibility. And the fact that you're kind of sitting it there advertising it, it takes a couple bolts, they cut a hose, they cut a wire. Now, on top of those reasons, lift pumps are actually also loud. I mean, they've quieted them down over the years from previous models, but they still make noise. And anytime the key or the ignition is on, the lift pump's running. So even when your truck's not started, you're gonna hear the lift pump running. And, you know, obviously once you fire the truck up, it drowns out the noise to an extent, but you still do hear it if it's mounted on the side of the cab right there, because clearly, I mean, you're hearing it from right freaking there. Now, what I've opted to do, and let me find a, let's try. Let's try the, the poor man or the California creeper here. I mean, I guess I could raise the rear end up considering I spent all that money to make it go up and down. So when the ignition is not on, obviously the controller is off, but we'll hit our switch in here, which then turns the air ride controller on. We'll hit three, which is all the way up. And if the term California creeper is not already trademarked, I feel like I should trademark that. And of course my compressors kick on right when I get underneath the truck and I'd have to go out from underneath it to turn them off, but we'll wait for those to turn off, but. Can we just appreciate how nice of a view that is? Any minute now they'll kick off. All right, I feel it, it's gonna happen. Right now. Let's try that again. Right now. The airbags are big, they eat up a lot of air, so it takes a second for the tanks to fill back up. All right, so the original mounting location is right up there. Uh, the factory bracket from FAST mounts up into that location. Where we opt to do it, and I did it the same way on my last truck, is just on the other side of the fuel tank. And you can see they essentially utilized the factory FAST bracket that comes with it and mounted it up underneath the bed. And when you use like the rubber isolators and all that, it is actually really quiet. And it's not hard to get up under here and get to the filters to drain the water out of this filter or to actually swap the filters. Especially being that my truck is so high up, it's pretty simple. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna complain like it's that much harder than just grabbing them off the side of the bed over there. So to me, it is a much preferred option to mount it right here. Not only is it hidden up out of the way, because they're just not pretty to look at. Those filters are great, but there's nothing special about them. I don't want to show them off. Uh, it's safer up here. But one of the things I like best about it is it's really quiet, because it's so far centered in the bed that the sound doesn't really travel. So let me roll on out of here, and I'll turn it on so you guys can hear just how quiet it is. And if you already have a lift pump installed on the side, you'll be able to kind of compare it with your setup. Turn the truck ignition on all right so right now the lift pump is on and you can I mean you can hear it but imagine if it was right here it's it's pretty quiet I mean, if you have any type of ambient noise you're not gonna hear that it's just really quiet right now so I mean being that lift pumps make noise to me get it the furthest away from you as you can obviously when you start the truck you'll never hear the lift pump being in the middle like that still playing with the auto level. Um, you'll never hear the lift pump over the idle of the truck. I have a, a lift pump, whether it be fast, air dog. Uh, the reason I run fast is just because that's just what I've run in the past and I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, you know, I've heard pros and cons about both. And like I mentioned earlier, even if you have a stock truck that you don't plan on doing any performance modifications to, it is really good. I mean, you should have done it from day one. Um, I should have done it from day one and just get that extra filtration in there. It doesn't change anything. It's not gonna make the truck run any different. 
if you haven't tuned it or anything like that. And they make different sizes, so if you're not running a big hot tune, you don't need the 165. I think they make a 95 or something like that. But I would definitely highly recommend you guys invest in a lift pump and put it in the middle. Like I said, it really doesn't change much on the install. It's not like a shop's gonna charge you an extra couple hundred bucks because you're custom fabbing, anything like that. Just tell them you want it mounted on the inside and they should be able to take care of it for you. And with that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. I know this one was short today, and I know I say that a lot, and it ends up, by the time I edit it, it ends up being like a 15 or 17 minute, but I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be short. So as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now, though you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, again, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.